guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over and unboxing the Pulsar 10,500 inverter generator. This is a tri fuel inverter generator. As you can see right here, it's tri fuel, propane, gas, and natural gas, which makes it very easy to hook to the house, especially if you have natural gas. You don't have to worry about refueling or prepping for storage. You just unplug it. Well, natural gas and propane, but natural gas gives you that unlimited fuel source. 62 dB pure sine wave on 10,500 on gas, 8,500 running, 9,500 on propane starting, 8,000 running, and on natural gas you get 8,400 peak and 6,800 rated watts. It also has the CO monitor, so if you put this anywhere that has a buildup of carbon monoxide, it will automatically shut itself off. Let's unbox this thing and show you exactly what it looks like. In a later video, I will be load testing this on the RV and the house. So stay tuned for those videos. For those of you all wondering, I will load test it later on. This is the unboxing video. Super quiet, stable sine wave, remote start, and 240 volt, and it's also parallel capable. Guys, let's unbox this Pulsar. All right, guys, there it is. The Pulsar 10,500 watt. Remote start also has a pull start right here. So if your battery does go dead, which it should not, because this generator actually come with a charger that keeps your battery fully charged. So, but if in case you forget to plug it in, you do have a pull starter, so you can pull start this thing. This is the compartment where you would check your oil. The wheels. This one has stems in the front and wheels in the back. Let's take a look at the tank. So you have a 6.9 gallon tank on this one, 26 liters. On the front side of this generator, you do have handles, makes it real easy to move it around. Pull this little latch and you can fold your handles down. On the front side, nice big digital display, your main switch right here, your starter. This is your quick connect for your propane and natural gas. Fuel selector, propane, natural gas, gas. You have some resets, four pin twist lock, 30 amp, 50 amp plug, and you have 420 volt outlets right here. USB-C and A. Push to restart. When you overload this generator, you just push this, it will restart the generator. You do have low idle mode, so when you're running this, it makes it very fuel efficient. Very fuel efficient, keep it on low idle. 120 volt, 240 volt, or you could do 120 volt only. Main breaker. This generator is parallel capable, so you can use two of these, parallel them together, and double your power. CO monitor more reset for your 20 amp breakers and your ground down here. This is where your inverter is located. So all that fresh air comes in and keeps your generator and inverter cool right up front. So these generators are meant to run outside in the fresh air. On this side, you have another access panel. So you can connect your battery and your oil and everything else. Your remote will be hung right here. So this is your remote start. That's on the back side of the generator. See this nice big opening so all that hot air can come out and your exhaust with your spark arrestor. All right, guys, so we're on the side with the pull cord, okay? You come over here, you take off these three screws, the ones on the side panel. Take these three screws off, put your hands right here, pull that off, and then just pull the cord at the same time, pull it to the side. 
they'll stay right here. This is the side with your oil. This is where you'll change your oil. Also right here, it has a quick oil change. This is kind of short. Why did they make it so short? It should be a little longer. I guess it can go to the bottom over here. That's all right. For those of you guys who like magnetic dipstick, this comes with its own magnetic dipstick. So you don't have to buy a magnetic dipstick. And it also have an oil filter, oil screen right here. So you don't have to worry about that. It does have an oil screen. So right now, we're just going to add the oil. Get your oil all the way to the top. Put your cap back on. Get the other side off. All right, guys, so your battery pigtail is already connected. Just reach down to the side, pull that up, connect them. Once that's connected, tuck it back in. Just a quick look over and make sure your spark plug is in. Everything looks good. All right, got my oil, battery connected. Let's get some, we're going to do this first start on propane because I don't want to put gas in here and have to have it sit inside the generator. So I'm going to connect the propane and then do our first start. All right, guys, we're on the outside. I got my propane tank connected. Use my propane tank hose. Just quick connect so you don't have to use any tool. Just come here, pull this back, quick connect. Open my propane tank. Come down here, we select propane, right here. Main. See right here, this has a beautiful looking screen. All your information, hours, voltage, frequency, and your power. Once you do that, you'll just come over here, you can remote start or push the button. All right, guys, there you have it. The Pulsar 10.5 running on propane. I'm going to let this thing run for a little bit. And guys, remember, stay tuned for the video where I load test this on the RV and the house. Okay? We will be doing that shortly. I'm going to break it in, make sure the piston sit rings and everything get seated. We'll change the oil and then do the load test. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.